Well, it's true that I work on human memory primarily, but I really think of myself as studying mammalian memory. You know, I, mean, I started off with rats, and then in my postdoc period I worked with mice, and then for a long time, for 20 years, we worked with monkeys and humans at the same time. And now I probably work mostly with humans, but I still have a rat lab. So I'm looking for the universals, you know, the mammalian universals of, of memory, and which I study mostly through humans. Yeah, well, the term declarative came out of the artificial intelligence world initially, and so it's a word that was only really meant to be applied to humans. We apply it to animals because it's the same brain system, it's the same structure, it's the damage there causes, this, and the damage in a rat and a monkey causes the same con, con, set of conditions that it causes in humans, and it has some of the same properties. Uh, but um, there's other terms that have been used in the animal literature. Uh, one word that's popular, one term is popular is the word relational memory. Um, so it, it, it's, it, using the word declarity for animals isn't meant to claim that the animals have some conscious experience like we have. It's only meant to say that it, it's, it's the same kind, it seems to be the same kind of memory. In humans, one of the features of that kind of memory is that it's conscious. But there's other kinds of features too that set it apart from other kinds of memory. That is, in humans, declarative memory is flexible. It can be expressed in different ways. It's expressed through recollection. And if you, re if you have knowledge that's declarative, you can express it through writing. You can speak about it. You can write it. You can do it with your left foot. Um, it's flexible knowledge. Whereas skills tend to be performance-based. We, you know, we say declarative memory is expressed through recollection. Non-declarative memory is expressed through performance. So all these thing, ideas hold in experimental animals. You know, the, the declarative memories that one studies in animals are flexible. The animals can do them in different ways. The non-declarative memories are less flexible and again depend on different brain systems and declarative memories.